ever wondered, does collagen in skincare actually work? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be demystifying all things collagen, busting some myths about supplements as well. My name is Abigail James. I'm a skincare expert and facialist. You can also find me on Instagram and on my blog, and I'm really excited to share this video with you. collagen I think that's a really important fact that we need to, to know before we're making up a mind about whether it works in our skincare so collagen is a form of protein we have actually 16 different types of collagen within the body type 1 and type 3 are most specific to the skin collagen is kind of like a fibrous thing that gives our skin its matrix and its structure. Think plumpiness and dewiness and, and lift. From the age of about 25, our collagen production is then on the decline. And I think it's kind of around 1% per year that it starts declining. However, that does very much depend on the individual. My genetics are different to yours as to someone else's. Also, our lifestyle factors play a huge part in it. Sun exposure is a big one for speeding up the reduction of collagen within our skin. Stress levels, diet, sugar in our diet is a really big one, for, again, for speeding up, the, up that degeneration of collagen. So there are so many factors. However, it's global that from mid twenties, it's on the decline. Most of the collagen within our skin is found in the dermis, which is the layer underneath, and that's where the vast majority of our collagen lies. Collagen itself is a pretty large molecule, and this is kind of where we start getting into, okay, let's thinking about it when it comes to skincare. The structure of collagen is a little bit like a, a, a rope. Individual amino acids link together and form a rope type structure. These strands then coil and twist and, and form layers of this structure, which then build up to a collagen molecule. So it, it, it's quite a chunky molecule. So this then leads me on to one of the first myths or reality checks that collagen within your skincare products, the molecule is too big to penetrate the skin. So fundamentally, if you've got a product with collagen in, it's not penetrating. However, there are many other benefits to the collagen if you've got it added to your skincare products. So firstly, it's actually a body identical ingredient, and we find lots of these now in skincare. You've probably heard of hyaluronic acid. We naturally have that in the skin and our bodies. Peptides, ceramides. So they're all ingredients, including collagen, that the body is naturally going to recognize. And as we age and go through life, these kind of actives, let's call them factors, molecules, decline and change over our years. So while a collagen molecule is too large to penetrate to the dermis, it can have an impact on the surface of the skin. So I find that collagen is a real mega hydrator. So it will plump out the fine lines. It will make the skin look and feel really dewy. So there are different forms of collagen that you will find in your skincare and your supplements, okay? Firstly, there is soluble collagen, and then there is hydrolyzed collagen. Hydrolyzed is where the collagen molecule has been broken down into smaller factors that then can penetrate deeper than the full fat collagen molecule. So that's actually where you get collagen peptides and amino acids. So when those have then been absorbed into the skin, the skin needs peptides to then stimulate new collagen production. So as much as a collagen in a skincare product isn't just straight putting collagen into the skin and plump it out, 
it's kind of giving the right food for the skin to be able to then naturally produce its own collagen. And the soluble collagen is a little bit more like a surface filler. Um, like I said, that real hydration and plumping out. Um, and that's where actually some masks and serums and moisturizers give you that, that plumpness and dewiness. So to be totally clear, there is no penetration of collagen within your skincare. However, there is mega hydration and plumpness that goes on with it. Where the collagen comes from is also really important. We're animals. Our collagen is within us. So this is where some forms of collagen for them to be effective are going to be derived from animals. Usually it's bovine, which is cows, marine, which is fish. Some use pork as well. And then there's another wave, which is maybe vegan or vegetarian. So there's lots of different options. And this is actually where, when you're reading your ingredients on your serum or your supplement, where it's coming from is really important, A, for where your ethos is. If you're vegan, you don't wanna be taking something that's from, you know, a bovine type. So there's lots of variants, even amongst the collagen side of things. And I must admit, from doing my research for this particular video, I found that collagen production is actually quite expensive for a brand to do. And there used to be loads of brands years ago, back in the, I'm gonna say 70s and 80s, where they put collagen in products and then it kind of swayed away. Um, you know, brands stopped using those kind of ingredients and I'm finding now there are different ways that they're getting the collagen, which is a lot more ethical and safer for us and can formulate so much better. And that's actually where there's a few select brands I found that are kind of reigniting with this and putting it out there that actually, this is a good thing. You know, it's part of our building blocks. We're using all these other ingredients, which we still need, but let's kind of relook at the collagen story as well. So let's start with possibly, I think for some people, the most controversial form of collagen, and that is bovine, which is from cows. What's very different now to what was previously happening years ago was that that form of collagen, no animal has been killed specifically to get that collagen. And if you're wearing leather shoes, then you should be fine with using a product that has bovine derived collagen. The collagen, it's a byproduct of, say, the food chain. So um, the farming side of things, ideally we need grass-fed cows, we need them to be healthy, we need them to have lived a good life. Um, and then it's a byproduct. So actually it's a product that might have been thrown away anyway, and then that, that kind of cleaned up and then utilised within the skincare products. Okay, there's a brand called Swiss Line. They are based in Switzerland. They've been around for 30 years. Their science and technology, I'm, you know, I'm really quite impressed with. From doing my research, they probably have the, the strongest mask that I've come across. It is only available within their treatments. I've got one here. So it looks like a sheet mask, okay, but it's 100% biodegradable because I think I might be saying this wrong, that it's 97% collagen. So, like I said, it's only available in their spa treatments, but it's applied to the face and uh, a hyaluronic acid solution is added to it, and then that really hydrates the skin. But then it kind of, you know, I suppose almost disintegrates. I have tried that a few times and it definitely, the skin feels really, really plump and dewy. I've tried it myself, um, after doing a skin needling uh, and then put that on immediately afterwards and it definitely gave the skin a real boost. So the key thing with, I suppose, the animal derived collagens, it has more of an affinity with our own skin because we are animal as well. So some people are suggesting that the animal types of collagen or the animal derived collagen is gonna be more effective than some of the plant derived. I haven't seen the science and the research on that, but that's kind of what I've been led to believe so far. Let's now talk about marine collagen. Marine collagen, it is usually derived from 
either the scales of a fish or the skin or the bones. Some is derived from farmed fish. I'm not a fan of that. That's not kind of where my ethos is. Others is derived from wild fish, where the fish have kind of grown up in their natural habitat. Um, you know, they've not been killed specifically or bred specifically for, for that kind of purpose. And like I said, it's a byproduct of the food chain. Swiss Lion are using marine collagen in a couple of their serums. They've got a range called Cell Shock, which is that little guy there. It's an, it says, it's called 360 Anti-Wrinkle Serum. It's a triple collagen complex. So you've got soluble collagen, which does that hydration. And then you've got the hydrolyzed collagen, which kind of turns into the peptides and get in a little bit deeper. And it's then supporting our own collagen. There's hyaluronic acid and lots of other amazing things in there. There is also a cell shock eye serum and in this there are extra adids for supporting dark circles. There's a, a nice easy, it takes out exactly what you want, it's a gel like, both of these, no stickiness, no tackiness, they absorb really easily, uh, there's a slight watery texture to them which feels quite nice, I know some serums can feel tacky, these definitely don't dry like that. I would be cleansing your skin you could use some kind of acid exfoliant if you wanted to, then put your serums on, then your moisturiser and your SPF, it's the daytime. So while I'm talking about marine collagen, I want to tell you about a supplement that I've been trying. It is from Corexico. I can never pronounce that name properly. It's a marine collagen. In here, there is also hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. As I was previously saying, the wild caught form of marine collagen and I think the Canadians are really strict with their their fishing methods. How they're gaining their collagen is quite ethical and it's the cleanest form for us. It is from the skin of wild caught fish and it's actually a byproduct of the fish being filleted for us to eat anyway. Interestingly, that they've blended this with hyaluronic acid, which we know the skin needs for that plumpness and hydration, and also vitamin C. I'm gonna digress slightly and talk about vitamin C, just for a moment, okay? So vitamin C in our skincare is amazing. It's brilliant, our skin needs it. It's great for brightening, for pigment. It's a brilliant antioxidant. However, topical vitamin C will not stimulate collagen production. If we digest vitamin C, it does. So this is actually where supplementing with vitamin C isn't just for if we want to boost our immune system, it should also be there for all round health and the health of our skin. So these guys have combined some three biggies when it comes to supporting the skin with the collagen, the hyaluronic acid and the vitamin C. There is also zinc, manganese, and selenium. So those are other amazing minerals that are great for health and particularly our skin as well. So I have also got, uh, I did have it set back there, but it was so huge. I've got this, which is the powder collagen. There isn't the added vitamin C and hyaluronic with this. It's the pure hydrolyzed marine collagen peptides. Uh, I find adding a scoop to, actually I prefer this with a warm drink, bizarrely. Mix it in, stir it up and drink it. I, I probably form a little bit of a paste of this first and then drink it with, whether it's even a tea, have it in my tea. Um, but this obviously isn't just good for skin, it's hair, nails, bones, you know, like I said, we've got collagen all throughout the body. So yes, I'm talking about skin benefits, but there are so many other health benefits as well. To come back to do collagen supplements work, I must admit for years I was really, really sceptical because my, my small little brain tells me that we're going to eat collagen our stomach acids are going to digest it and you know there's going to be no benefit it's it's just gonna we're gonna pee, pee it out 
However, as we've kind of gone through with the skin side of things, what the collagen supplements are doing, again, is giving our body key peptides and amino acids so that then it's it's kind of the right type of food for the body to naturally then want to convert easier into the right building blocks to be supporting the collagen within our body. And there is now a lot of research around this topic. I'm going to talk about a vegan collagen serum. I am talking about Alginist, I forget his name, Genius Liquid Collagen, Liquid Collagen, that's exactly what it's called. It's quite an innovative thing that they're doing to create this vegan collagen. It's a mix of soy, wheat and corn proteins to form amino acids to kind of create a plant-based collagen. Uh, in this as well, I don't know whether you'll be able to see, but there's tiny little beads in there and those are microalgae beads. I haven't tried it long enough to go, oh my life, I've seen, you know, a revolution with my skin. It's actually quite tricky to find good collagen-based products on the market. But this is probably the only ones that really state, yes, we've got collagen, yes, it's vegan. I find it definitely does hydrate the skin, which is one of the key things we want. With the microalgae beads, I think you've got omegas three, six, and nine in there. So I think lots of hydration. So if you've got dry skin and you know if your preference is, is vegan, then the Alginist Genius Liquid Collagen might be one for you to try. I'm gonna switch on to a moisturizer and this is a vegetarian collagen moisturizer. The brand is called Q&A Skincare. The product is called Collagen. They are using a seaweed derived collagen. So this is intended to mimic the animal based collagens out there. I find this moisturizer, if you've got sensitive skin, if you need hydration, if you're dehydrated, this is just it's that silky comfort blanket and I think really affordable. So I'm not sure as you know the science behind the seaweed collagen compared to the animal based, but all I know is this is an absolute joy to use and the skin definitely feels and looks plump. It's got, it's got that dewiness to it. I've got a few products now that I'm gonna put together in a little group because while I was doing my research, I couldn't actually find out where their collagen was derived from. They weren't stating whether it was animal, marine, plant, vegan. However, they are products I enjoy using myself. So I've got a Dr. Dennis Grass. Uh, it's vitamin C plus collagen. The vitamin C, it's got that brightening and then it's got the collagen, which does that hydration. So that one, you can probably see, I've, I've used half of it. It's a really lovely serum to use and it's a gel type. It feels nice on the skin, it's really hydrating. But like I said, I just couldn't find out where the collagen was derived from. Maybe I was missing something. Another one is the Murad Rapid Collagen. This is more of a cream serum texture. It doesn't give the dewiness that the Q&A does as a, as a proper moisturizer, but it just gives that really nice velvety texture on the skin and definitely makes the skin feel really hydrated. And then last up in my liner is QMS. Uh, that called QMS Medi Cosmetics. This is actually the old packaging. They have a day collagen and a night collagen, and they are all about getting loads of hydration into the skin. It's a, a liquid gel, and the idea is that you apply one in the morning and one in the evening, and you kind of work through a process of doing that. I couldn't find anywhere where the collagen was derived from. So, I, I love it for its results, but for kind of total transparency, I, I just couldn't find 
um, you know, that, that, that kind of information. So maybe, you know, if you do a little bit more Googling and, and searching or whatever, you might find from those particular brands where they're deriving their collagen from. I hope that's helped demystify some of the myths around collagen in skincare. So it's clear that not all collagen products are the same. So I think that's really important when you're looking at introducing collagen either into your skincare or from supplements. I've shared some of my favorites. I actually did an Instagram live with Custodio from Swiss Life um, and his knowledge is amazing. Go and check it out, I've saved it on my Instagram. And he's also just launched a, a YouTube channel, I think it's called The Age Traveler, so go, go and check him out, his knowledge is amazing. So I hope you found that helpful. Please do like and subscribe. I love sharing these videos with you and I hope to see you soon.